Well, let's discuss, talk yeah. about setting up an effective ticketing system, right? So now yeah. when we talk about ticketing, we've got to think about where things are coming from. And that's where it mentions conversations. Now there's a big driver to push every conversation into the help desk. And so you have these different channels in the help desk. And generally what we do is when things are in the help desk, you will generate tickets out of it. And so you will have a conversation. So that's a mode of how people are communicating with us. Is it coming via email? Is it coming via a form? Is it coming via a chat, et cetera? WhatsApp, that, yeah. That's all of the conversations coming in and then tickets get created off the back of that. In terms of the effective ticketing, there's, there's a few things, right? And I guess this is where sometimes things can get caught out. You need to make sure if you've got your ticket pipelines, I would say if you don't have a system, start with the default HubSpot ticket pipeline and then change it as you go along. Don't try to over-engineer the process and go, oh, I'm going to put all of these steps in. I'm going to do that. Because you will get compli you will get complicated, and then you'll get lost, and everything will break. So start simple, and then incrementally make improvements. In terms of ticket routing, yes, I think that's good, and it's something that you can save a lot of time. My last service hub implementation, they had three people, oh, two people, I think, every day spending two hours trying to manually assign tickets. Craig, can you just imagine? That's four hours of time every wow. day. People manually assign tickets. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because they had no rules around how a ticket assignment happens, right? So that's an mm. easy thing that we can solve straight off the bat. But it did take time. We had to know, understand which teams, who the people were, what things we're looking out for, and because nothing was systematized in the data collection. So there's a big mm -hmm. key for you. Are we collecting data efficiently so we can then route and assign efficiently? So that mm. was a big thing. By default on the help desk, you will have SLA. So you can either turn it on, turn it off based on a priority or just based on everything in the help desk. So that is something which is actually good. And I'll tell you why in the help desk that's been useful is it gives some sort of context when people are looking at things. It's like, are we actually attending to stuff or is stuff just not ever being attended to? So that's a really good place to start. Once you get that done, then you can go and dig deeper into, okay, well, if it's a low priority ticket, I want to give a longer SLA because it's not as important. So I would say start with the default, then start to go priority based if you need to. If you want to do it by types of tickets, then that's an enterprise feature, which you're going to have to then upgrade to do that.